In today's fight news, we start off with lightweight contender Michael Chandler on an episode of the MMA Hour where he discusses his upcoming UFC 303 main event with the return of the notorious Conor McGregor. During the episode, the former Bellator champion spoke on a variety of topics, including wanting to break the all-time pay-per-view record set by Khabib and McGregor back at UFC 229. Chandler was also asked about McGregor putting out the idea that he wants to fight a three-round fight instead of five for their pay-per-view main event. When asked about his long delay in hopes of getting the Conor McGregor fight, Chandler said that during his wait, he was never once even offered any other bouts. The former title challenger said that he is aiming to end Conor McGregor's career at UFC 303, stating, There's a chance this is the greatest comeback in combat sports history by the sport's biggest star. That's why you have to buy the pay-per-view. Or the other option, the more likely option, is I absolutely mollywop this dude and put a beatdown of biblical proportions on him. And this is the last time you ever see Conor McGregor compete inside the octagon. Speaking of the former champ champ McGregor, he posted on his social media, 10 rounds in the 18 ounce, drug tested, hair cut, pretty much alluding that he's ready for his UFC 303 return. Featherweight champion Ilya Tapuria also made appearance on the MMA Hour, in which he spoke on possibly fighting the BMF champion Max Holloway, stating, Without the BMF belt, I don't want him at all. If not, I'm going to go fight with Volkanovski, who deserves the rematch more than him. Because he has that belt, I'm excited about that. That's why I want him. During the interview with Ariel Hawani, Tapuria pretty much said that he would make easy work of the BMF champion Holloway, stating, Do you want me to submit you? Do you want me to knock you out? How do you want me to finish you? I can do whatever I want to do. I'm better than him everywhere. When Ilya was asked about his thoughts on the BMF championship fight at UFC 300, he didn't seem very impressed at all, saying, I didn't see any technique. I didn't see any strategy. I didn't see any power. I didn't see anything. I didn't see any head movement. I just saw a bar fight. While Tuporia was on the MMA hour taking shots at BMF champion Max Holloway, top contender Mobsar Ebloev was taking shots at Tuporia. While on X, he stated, While Champ is on the world tour to show his belt to everybody instead of defending it, I can fight twice and bash two other title contenders. The former featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky, had this to say about Max Holloway in his performance. Max has never lost it. A lot of people, even with our fights after the last one, as if Max was done and dusted, I'm like, no, that's not the case at all. He's always been that good. And you've seen that once again, credit to Max Holloway. The former featherweight king Volkanovski also recently uploaded a pretty funny video on his YouTube channel. Go check it out. While speaking to TNT Sports, former middleweight champion Michael Bisping had this to say about the brutal knockout that Justin Gaethje faced at UFC 300 at the hands of Max Holloway, stating, I think he was a victim of his own success. Knocking out Dustin Poirier the way that he did and everybody riding the coattails and being a fan, for obvious reasons. He's a very exciting fighter and very accomplished. He was looking for the knockout constantly. You can't do that. When you're looking for the knockout, you telegraph the shot. The former welterweight king, Kamara Usman, also weighed in on Gaethje's knockout loss on an episode of his Pound for Pound podcast, saying... He took that kick to the nose, which plays a huge part in potentially moving on in the fight. Now, you can't breathe the way you want to breathe in that fight. Alluding to Max Holloway doing a spin kick and breaking Gaethje's nose at the end of the first round. The back and forth between middleweights Hamzat Chimaev and Bo Nickel continues, as Bo Nickel said this on an episode of the MMA Hour. Yo, who are you fighting at 5-0, bro? some random dude in Europe? I'm fighting in the UFC at UFC 300. 
there's levels to this. It wouldn't be surprising to me when we fight, I'm like minus 1,000 favorite. Also on the MMA Hour, bare knuckle fighting champion and former UFC star Mike Perry spoke on reaching out to the UFC before he recently re-signed with the BKFC organization. In other fight news, former light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohaska tells Ariel Hawani that he would be down to fight at UFC 301 in Brazil against current champion Alex Pereira in a rematch, stating that he doesn't want to fight anyone else but Pereira for the title. On his YouTube channel, UFC interim heavyweight champion Tom Aspinall says that he signed to fight at the UFC pay-per-view in Manchester later this summer. He did not disclose who the opponent is yet. Lastly, we finish off with some fight announcements. Joe Pfeiffer will be taking on Marc-Andre Barrio at UFC 303 on June 29th. Jay Wells out of his matchup with Nico Price, who will now be fighting in a rematch with Alex Morono at UFC 302 on June 1st. Also on the UFC 302 card on June 1st, we have Randy Brown taking on Elizayu Zaleski Dos Santos. And on the UFC Vegas 93 card on June 15th, we have Jacob Saragi taking on Weston Wilson. And finally, longtime lightweight standout Michael Johnson says he will not be fighting for the rest of 2024 due to a surgery. Thank you for watching. If you appreciate the content, like and subscribe.